Hello everyone, welcome to this new tutorial of Plexus. If you love Plexus and you're into civil engineering, just subscribe to my YouTube channel for information daily and weekly. So today I'm gonna do tutorial number five of Plexus 2D, number three of Plexus 2D, which is dry excavation using a tie back wall. So the purpose of my tutorial is not only to help you draw but it's to help you understand how the geotechnical problem works and how Plexus also works. So in this tutorial, I'm not gonna draw everything. I already drew it, but I'm gonna show you only how to draw the tie back, uh, the tie back wall, not all the wall, just the tie and the anchors. So let's start. It's the dry excavation, it's dry construction of an excavation. So it, the, the excavation is supported by a diaphragm wall. I showed you in the last tutorial what a diaphragm wall is. So uh, I'm not going to show it in this tutorial. But the difference between this one and the last tutorial is that the last tutorial had a strut here. So a small excavation where we can put struts. Uh, strut can be very helpful. But there's some excavation where we cannot put them due to... Uh, Equipments or uh, big uh, distance between the two walls. So we use the ground anchor. So this is the input. The excavation is 20 meter wide, 10 meter deep. You can put these numbers in the input. And the anchor have a length of 14.5 meter with an inclination of 33.7 degree, which is which, which is 243. So these are, these are the general set, uh, settings and let's start with the soil These are the material for the soil. So let's see First of all, we're gonna go to project properties. These are the general settings Okay, so now We're gonna show you the material These are the materials That are here so we're gonna define now the structural elements <clears throat> so as i said i'm not gonna draw the walls or the load because we already made a similar video in the last one i'm just gonna show you how we draw the anchors So we drew a line, we put create uh, create plate, we assigned the diaphragm wall to it, we put a line here to say where the excavation is. So how do we draw a anchor? It's easy. We, we create two points. We put the value of the points, which are this value here. And we put right click create. Okay. Okay, so we create a uh, node to node anchor for this one. Uh, this is the node to node anchor. Then we're gonna create an embedded beam for the uh, for the, for the uh, head of the anchor here, which will be concrete. For the anchor here, it will be grouted. So usually we make a hole from here to here, we put grout here and a cable. There's no grout here, then we tension it or we don't tension it. So there's these two uh, types of uh, strut. So these are the parameters for the node to node anchor, the grout and the embedded beams. Okay, we're gonna generate the mesh. Okay, I've already made them. So here, I'm gonna explain each phase. So in the first phase, we make a K0 procedure. I've already talked about uh, this feature. Then we're gonna activate the wall and the load. Because usually when we when we make an excavation, uh, especially a diaphragm wall, 
we usually construct the wall before doing anything with the excavation so that's why also the interface are created here we do the first excavation the second excavation we turn on these anchor note that these anchor are not stressed i'll make a tutorial about stressed anchor later the second excavation the second anchor row and the final excavation so here we've put the flow condition for the final excavation so this is the global water but when we gonna uh, make an excavation so that's why we assigned for this one the global water is here but when we do the final excavation we're gonna take out the water so that's why the water will be like this okay so i'm gonna pause the video and make a calculation here to save some time okay so i made the calculation now we're gonna see the deformation for every phase this is the initial phase this is when we put the load this is when we made the first excavation first anchor we can see the stress created this is the second one this is the final excavation you can see the displacement here and here so now i'm gonna double click on this wall and i'm gonna see the displacement on this wall so you can see the displacement we can see also the forces the ax the axle force the shear force we can see that uh, in every anchor it changed the sign and also the bending moment so this is it for this tutorial if you have any question just leave them in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe